I'm Clef, and I'm here at the Ballard Locks Museum, and I'm going to be giving you a tour of some of the stuff we have here. Let's go. So this is one of the original flags entrusted by George Washington to the signers of the Declaration of Independence. This actually made it here in 1912, and um, this flag was a personal gift from Washington to Jefferson, who was definitely there. <laughs> so let's go upstairs. So here are some of the ships we have here. This is a Class B narwhal type boat right here. Uh, I can see. Originated in China. I can see they've uh, used Benjamin Benjamin Franklin's famous shrink ray to get them down for display. Yes. So this one is a this is a Class B dolphin type boat, and it is it's the most common type of boat you'll see. I, I'd, like, I'd like to not talk about these because I'm going to get carried away and I'm never going to stop. So let's go ahead and come over here to one of my favorite exhibits, the, <laughs> the visionary leader exhibit. So this is, this here is Hiram A. Chittenden. Featuring he was a Civil War officer, as you can see. He, um, is this actually his body? This is in fact not him, however it is a death mask of him. And um, so you can see the hat up there. He was a Union officer during the Civil War. And he created a, um, he created the locks, he invented them. He was the first to have the idea of locks back in 1901. He was originally trying to perfect anti-gravity tech, if I remember correctly. He, that is a common misconception. He was actually, uh, he was actually just working on getting boats to go upstairs, like boat stairs. So let's let's come around here. And then he had the idea of making them really big and putting water on them. Okay, so this is this is the first wheel ever invented by. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to cut the. All right. So this is the first wheel ever created by man. <laughs> Gee, what's it doing here? This wheel is from 1903, and it is the first wheel to ever be created or used by humans. Uh, the screen just went dark. Don't worry about it. Okay. Just tap the screen. So this, this was built in Prussia and designed in northern Africa where humans began back in, like I said, 1903. So let's go ahead and move on. This is, this is, um, that, that cooks, um, subs. So, <laughs> moving on. Oh, here we can see, uh, I, I, I'm, uh, I'm well aware of the, what this is, this is one of Truchosaurus's hubcaps when he helped to dig the locks. That's correct, right? Yes, this is, um, so the vehicle they used to make the locks back in 1805 was <laughs> a huge, it was basically a large um, backhoe, like, digger-type truck. With sentience and a thirst for human blood, correct? No, not quite, but I don't know where you got that idea, honestly. It's oh, right, that was, that, right, that was truck, that was Truckzilla, yes. Truckosaurus's brother. Whom they made a movie about called, um, what's it called? Monster Trucks. That's right. Wait, did they, is that one of those sci-fi? Because I haven't seen it's that a, one. It's an actual AAA blockbuster movie. Wow. So this is, this is a example of the locks here. So as you can see, to, to operate the locks, you have to... To operate the locks, you have to turn this knob off. You have to close the gates. That's open. Okay, so I'm obviously 
not trend. I'm obviously very qualified to be doing this, so operate the lock. You know what? This is the real lock control panel here. I can fly here. a plane, but I can't get this right, so let's just move on. <laughs> These are the epaulets. Franz Ferdinand the first. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... These are the epaulets he wore to the Civil War, the Austrian Civil War. And, um, so here we have some posters. You can see this one says, Si no puedes nadar levanta la mano, which means um, to be careful not to drown. And um, so this one is. This one was actually designed by the same people that did, um, what's it called? The, it was the one about the man and the dog, Wallace and Gromit. So that was, that was an animation done by them back in 1479, and that poster is based on that. Ah, that's back when, a, back when Ardman had their start as a... Yeah, that, that's when Ardman Animation had their start animating rocket tests for the United States government in World War II, correct? Yep. So, this is a... Oh, I fucking love these. Where's the finish? Oh. I don't think it tells you. Oh, you got snatched by a seagull. Bogus. I win. So oh, you couldn't find your way back to the fish ladder. There's a big sheet up here, and it blinks whenever he gets a contact. Did I win? Congratulations, you managed, dude! High five, bro! You spawned. Spawned. That's like oh. that's like seventh base, right? Sure. <laughs> of the ecosystem of a streams. As you can um, see, it, uh, it features chat, it features emotes, it features bits. This is your quintessential stream, so stream this, environment. This here, is a, this here is a furry seal. It is a type of seal found only in North America and in Brazil. So this is a kookaburra. They're from Australia. They, they can be commonly found in the streams biome. Here is, that is a pine marten, actually. A lot of people think they're raccoons, but that's actually a type of pine marten. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna have to cut that. I turned around to see what the noise was. <laughs> so, this is the... <laughs> <laughs> I want to leave through that door. Alarm will sound. Here we see the storage closet. Oh shit, son. Fish product. So here we have an example of sand and gravel. So this is sand and this is gravel. So let's move on. <laughs> This this is the um, this is the boat that was used in the movie Hello Dolly. 